She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. So if you start moving funny, she's moving on. What's up, my Fina love, sisters Fina? D coming to you all from Fina Tina News. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. let's close the chapter to this season finally i've done two videos on part three already i talked about you know Tanya husband thinking what he did was a joke and not apologizing to kenya moore i also did a second video on basically social media dragging andy cohen and Milo hampton because of what he did at the reunion so if you missed those two videos Please click the first and second link in the description below to watch those videos. The ratings were released and it outperformed last season reunion. And so all of this, bring this person back and bring that person back. The top person that is saying to bring back, she was on the last reunion and this <laughs> reunion was actually higher than the one that she was on proving that the ladies are doing just fine thanks to kenya moore who else would milo have to argue with if it wasn't kenya miserable milo had her moments here and there with candy but who was her main focus the entire season kenya moore if she did not have kenya moore to keep coming for it and picking on it kenya kept paying her dust and putting her in her place what else does she have how many times are you going to complain about your nephew's not cleaning their room before people get sick and tired? People are even sick and tired of the manufactured beef with Kenya Moore. Kenya Pager does. But because Kenya Moore is the moment, it worked. Sonia tried nothing. Then the reunion, Kenya Moore is the only person that held Molly accountable. Kenya Moore is the reason why we laughed. Kenya Moore is the reason why the reunion had any spice because she held Molly accountable and did not allow any Cohen sympathy and whatever he was doing with Milo to ruin the entire reunion. Say what you want, put her to the end of the couch, do whatever Andy Cohen, you and the producers are aware that Kenya Moore is a major asset to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Shout out to Candy as well for standing her ground and dragging measurable models in the moments where it counted. And that's about it because all Sheree did was lie. Well, Drew, yes, Drew did her thing as well, standing up for herself and all of that. With the ratings and all of that out of the way, let's get into how I started my review without all of the bricks and in between and separate videos. So I might sound repetitive in some parts, but this is how my review started. Whenever I watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta, I always take detailed notes about that episode because I have to come back and review it. And sometimes after the episodes, you might miss some key points or things that happened and your notes, you know, will help you with that. But the notes that I wrote about, you know, the final part, part three, completely, you know, went away, got erased in error. So I'm just going to freestyle it. Also, to me, the reunion did not need a part three, but I completely understand that's in the contract. Allegedly, they have to have three parts and also they have to give the men a chance to talk i've already posted my part one of the review where i was completely disgusted by Roz making fun of him standing up and being aggressive and disrespectful towards black women especially kenya moore no apologies and all of that i understand like i wrote on the screen of that video that i understand that kenya moore is playing chess the moment that you and your wife are looking for from me, I'm not going to give it to you. You all want me to be upset, scream, drag you so that the both of you can have a storyline because she's been trying all season to bait me into having this drag out fight so she can have a storyline and it's not working. She couldn't even tell me why she was upset okay sitting at that table when kenya gagged her like that we all remember that episode okay so in a way 
you know, in as much as it felt like, Kenya, why are you not putting your foot down? Why are you not demanding an apology? Why are you pushing back like this? Why are you allowing Bravo to walk all over you? Why, 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 why? Kenya sees it as, you know, I will not be your storyline. Right now, this story is dead. There's nothing there. And I will be vindicated eventually because she always is. Also, let me play this clip real quick from Kenya Moore Instagram Live. Why are they always trying to get you out of character? Ah, uh, you know, it's like, it makes them relevant. If they can argue with me or successfully argue with me, it makes them relevant. They get headlines for arguing with me. They don't get headlines for arguing with anyone else. Maybe Candy. Um, no one else. So, if you're running with the big boys, boom, boom. You know, it's kind of one of those things, you know? You want to run with the big boys. You know, Candy and I are the big boys. So, they try to always get at me and Candy to be relevant. Doesn't always work, though. That's exactly the reason why she did not allow Ross to have a moment at the reunion. I'm going to pay our dust. Make fun all you want. I'm not giving you and your wife that moment and storyline that you're looking for. And she's absolutely right. Sheree and Drew, same old different day, got heated. Drew held her own. Love that Ralph came out, held Sheree feet to the fire. Sheree is a hot mess. She lies and deflects too much. Like, I just wasn't here for Sheree at all at the reunion. Drew held her own. But like I said, I'm glad that Ralph put his foot down and basically said what he had to say. Everything they talked about, I said it in my review, like the dinner situation. And I said, OK, I understand that Ralph, you know, half his ways. I understand Drew was upset, but this man just went through, you know, so much trouble to create this romantic dinner for you. Just live in the moment, have a great time. But you had to mess it up with exactly. And, you know, that was brought up as well. But Ralph said, you know what? I got to watch the show back. And I understand, you know, the places where I could do better. But then he's planning a tour. And that was his wife's first time hearing about a book tour. So they absolutely need to continue to work on their communication. I mean, Todd talking about the reason why the tour is going down. And Drew sitting over there looking confused. And then going through with a book deal. Getting a book deal before saying something about it. They absolutely need to work on their communication if they want their marriage to work. Back to Ralph holding Sheree accountable. Sheree insinuated that Kenya Moore, soon to be ex-husband, was exactly because he had he had pears in his nose. Okay, but she was the same one who got up and walked away and made a big deal when Kenya Moore brought up that conversation about Kim Fu's husband. Not saying that I agreed with the conversation that Kenya was having, but oh, because it was Kenya, oh, Sheree was too high and mighty. But this is not her first time calling people significant others exactly that like i've said over and over again all of these girls are hypocrites i love how todd put milo in her place calling her dehydrated i mean it was everything exposed her Annie backing him up, confirming that, girl, you paid for everything. You know, that's why I just, <laughs> Kenya Moore just sat there shaking her head. When I always use the word, Kenya Moore is always vindicated, that's exactly what I mean. The mean people running around talking about you pay boyfriends, you pay for this, you pay for that, you pay for your husband. They are the ones doing the paying. They are the ones sleeping with people's husbands. So they be the main ones in these fake relationships, paying their way through. And, you know, Andy desperately trying to not answer the question. And eventually he had to be honest and say, yes, you paid. There's absolutely nothing wrong with investing in yourself, seeing something within your reach and going for it. But don't lie about it, you know? It's like someone wanting to be a singer, but their record labels are not calling, so they invest in themselves. Start recording their own music, paying for studio sessions, doing things on their own, and posting in hopes that one day they will get paid for their talent and their work. We all have to start somewhere. Just don't lie about it. A mess. Social media dragged her for that as well, but I'm going to stay focused because every time I get to... Reading social media reactions, we end up being here for a long time. 
candy girl candy girl listen i don't care if Milo was crying on the floor holding my feet apologizing i was still going to read her and hold her accountable okay keep your apology that whole let me go ahead and be rude and then i'm going to go ahead and apologize in hopes i don't get dragged thank you kenya Moore, for holding her feet to the fire and dragging her i already talked about drew and sonia almost fighting in the last video i uploaded so i will not be addressing it in here i also talked about what she had to say on speak on it with candy about that situation so definitely go ahead and watch my last review for that information let's move on of course sheree bringing out sheba sheree for the girls of course you had a few people on the stage of course you're gonna have a few pieces but according to Drew, in a recent interview, Sheree took her pieces back. Andy Cohen got to keep his hoodie. Of course, it's Andy. But everything that Sheree brought on the stage for show and for filming, she took all of the pieces back. There's more to say, but I'm over it. So I'm going to end it here. And yes, Tim Tor, I told you all in the last video I did, Kenya Moore will always do what Kenya Moore wants to do and that's the reason why I kept saying I don't really care about the story but you all wanted me to talk about it I also said in that Instagram live she did when someone said I do not think Cynthia Billy feels the same way that you feel Kenya said well thank you for telling me how Cynthia Billy feels and I wrote on the screen exactly if the person who's going through the issues with someone is cool with it then why are you all wasting your time defending? Yes, I did see Kenya and Cynthia Bailey go on Instagram Live. Hey! Sis! Hey! Yes! They're at the Mary J. Blige um, concert. I'm going to say what I said in my last video. I replayed all of Kenya Moore interviews and Instagram Live. Well, not interviews, but her Instagram Live. And I said... On Kenya's end, her heart is pure and she's been saying nothing but amazing things about Cynthia Billy and saying that she and Cynthia Billy are friends, okay? Whether Cynthia Billy is being slick or you want to give Cynthia Billy the side eye on Kenya more and she's genuine because we've seen this with the miserable Milo. Kenya heart is pure, let Milo back in, Milo's tap her in the back. We've seen it with the Portia Williams, and the list goes on and on. But like I said, Kenya Moore is an adult. So if she's not tripping, and she's choosing to continue certain friendships or relationship with these women, let Kenya Moore do her thing. She's an adult. And that's why I said in the last video, I don't care, but you all wanted a video, so here you go. And then we give our opinion based on the slick things we were seeing on social media. However, if Kenya Moore is choosing to ignore them and continue to be close to certain people, let the woman do her thing. She's an adult, okay? So I just wanted you all to know that, yes, I did see the Instagram live. I might do a separate video on it, but I did not think it was necessary, but I will if if they provide more content. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. And I love, thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.